Tissues and plants. Just like specialized cells, plants have three main types of tissues. These are the dermal tissues, the ground tissues, and the vascular tissues. There are also meristematic tissues, which are very important in plant growth and cell growth, but I will cover these in a video, next video. The dermal tissue is usually a single layer of cells covering the younger part of a plant. It makes a very waxy layer called the q that prevents water loss. These tissues are generally around the young epidermis and lack chloroplasts. Basically all they do is help prevent water loss, which is very important. The ground tissue is a little more complicated because it consists of three types of tissues actually. The parenchyma tissue, the cholenchyma tissue and the sclerenchyma tissue. They function in photosynthesis, storage, regeneration, support and protection. The parenchyma tissue functions in photosynthesis as food storage in healing and regenerating tissues. This is what one of the cells uh, of the tissue looks like. They're called parenchyma cells. Cholenchyma tissue support young stems, roots and petioles. Petioles are the part that joins a leaf to the stem. Uh, well, this is a cholenchyma cell right here and they make up the tissue and they generally lack chloroplasts because they aren't made for photosynthesis. And the last type is the sclerenchyma tissue which is used as rigid support for protection. Uh, they generally have little organelles and look like sticks because they are made for protection basically. Some textbooks as well say that uh, tracheates, which is a type of water conducting cell, and vessels are a part of the sclerenchyma tissue. But not all textbooks say this, so whichever one your teacher told you to, follow that one. The final tissue type in this video is the vascular tissue, which is responsible for transporting water and dissolving substances. This is the one you've probably heard the most about. It is composed of xylem and foam tissues. The xylem tissue supports... The xylem tissue transports water and dissolves minerals, while the foam tissue transports food and other organic substances. The xylem tissue has two unique cells. Tracheates, the water conductors, and vessel members. The foam tissue has companion cells, which are very complex, as you can see in the diagram. Parenchyma cells, fibers, are also a part of both these tissues because, as mentioned before, they are for support and when you're transporting water, you need a lot of support. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about biology, click on one of these videos or just hit the subscribe button.